Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Uh, this video is a special edition uh, tutorial video in response to some things that have happened um, with publishing and some issues with Microsoft. So I'm producing this video to show you how to fix something that Microsoft broke in their great wisdom for all of us. If you'd rather just read about this, I'm showing you a picture here on the screen of the 90 Second Website Builder blog. If you'd rather just read these instructions, you can. Just go to 90secondwebsitebuilder.com forward slash blog and look for the article that's called All About Publishing to Your Host. There's some general information in that article that's helpful anyway that you can use to troubleshoot publishing issues. If you're having a problem with your web host server or connecting somehow, there's a lot of help in this particular article. So if you want to just peruse that, that will help you. Down at the bottom of this article, there's a section called Troubleshooting Publishing Issues. The first four are just general publishing, um, troubleshooting things you can look at. But number five is unique. It's in fact why I'm making this video. So if you're not the blog reading type, um, and you'd like me to walk you through this, that's what this video is all about. So we're going to do that in just a minute. But if you'd rather read about it yourself, again, go to 90secondwebsitebuilder.com forward slash blog, scroll down to the bottom, and read the section under number five, where it explains what Microsoft has recently done with one of their updates, and has affected literally thousands of people. Anybody using web design software that publishes to the web, like ours does, has been affected by Microsoft's update where they made, well, frankly, a huge mistake. So we've had to make a workaround for it. So even though lots of people and lots of different programs are being affected, uh, we have a great fix for it at 90 Second Website Builder. And I'm going to show you how to do that very, very easily in this video. So again, if you want to read about it, go here. You can. There's even a link to the Microsoft site that explains some of the error codes that are, people are seeing uh, if you want to really dig into it. But again, um, I'm going to show you in simple terms how to fix this publishing problem and uh, we'll do that next. So first of all, let me give you a little bit of background. This won't take very long, but you need to see what happened and why it happened and how to fix it. And um, I'll walk you through that. Uh, this is called the Microsoft WinINET fix. Now you probably haven't heard of WinINET, but just so you know, WinINET is a program that runs in your Microsoft Windows operating system. When you publish to the web using software like 90 Second Website Builder or any other web design software that publishes to the web, it uses a program called WinINET. The problem is Microsoft did an update that broke the WinINET program which means when INET doesn't work for some people, and so we've had to create a fix for that. Now, Microsoft has not fixed it, so this will only work for users of 90 Second Website Builder. Um, even though there's other programs out there suffering from this, this is how we have fixed it. Um, let me tell you who this affects. If you have recently upgraded your Windows to Windows 8.1, you'll very likely be affected by this, and you'll need to know about this fix. Um, or if you have upgraded your Internet Explorer to 11. So IE 11 users or Windows 8.1 users almost always are going to have a problem uh, with WinINET um, without this fix. You won't be able to publish through the software. Or if you've done any kind of a Windows update around October of 2013, somewhere in there, uh, then this would explain why you would be having publishing problems. Anyone that's getting publishing problems at all and when you do, you'll see error codes that begin with a 120, and that can be 12001, 12002, etc. I think most people are seeing an error code 12003. If you want to know those error codes mean, you can go back to the blog and click on that Microsoft link and see what those errors mean. But you really don't need to. Uh, rather than know what they mean, I'm going to show you how to fix it so that you can go back to publishing. And in fact, this fix not only fixes your publishing, it actually makes it a little bit better or a little bit faster if you do this. So the first thing you need to be doing um, if you're having publishing problems is you're going to need to be using the right version of 90 Second Website Builder. And that means you're going to have to be using 90 Second Website Builder version 8.6 or higher. So if you're using 90 Second Website Builder version 8.1, you're going to need to upgrade. And if, if you are using version 8.1, you can upgrade for free. I'm going to show you how to do that because that's a, that's a minor upgrade. Uh, for those of you that are having publishing issues and you're using older versions of 90 Second Website Builder, in other words, if you're using version 5, 6, or 7, you will not be able to use this particular fix. You'll have to go upgrade 
to the latest version of 90 second website builder uh, it's 8.6 or higher um, but by the time you watch this video we might be even at a higher uh, version but at least right now to date uh, 8.6 is the version that this fix was made for and I'm going to show you how to make sure you're using the newest version and how to get that so that's kind of a, a brief scenario so let, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you um, how to do that. Okay, so now I'm inside 90 Second Website Builder and you probably are wondering how do you know what version you're using? If you go up to the very top of the menu in 90 Second Website Builder and you click on the Help menu and then go to About Web Builder, you can see your version number right there. So as you can see, I'm using version 8.5.1. Well, that's not 8.6, is it? So I'm going to need to get version 8.6. So again, if you're using any other versions of 8 point something other than 8.6, you're going to need to upgrade. And if you're using version 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, whatever, um, you need to upgrade to 8.6. So I'm showing you that I've got a version that needs to be upgraded. And that's how you can see if uh, your yours does. Now, if this says 8.6 for you, you're fine. Hold on, and I'll show you um, in the next segment how to get this fixed. For those of you that need to upgrade from 8 point something to 8.6, what you're going to need to do is just simply download the software and reinstall it. Now, if you're watching this video in the members area or on our blog, or somewhere on our website, the link to that download will be underneath this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, the link is not there. You'll have to go over to our website, log into the members area, or uh, find that on our website, and you can download version 8.6 or higher. So it should be nearer this video, though, for most of you. So all you're going to do is download that, reinstall the software, and you'll simply be upgrading. It's that easy, doesn't cost you anything because it's a minor upgrade for uh, version 8 users. Let me show you quickly how to do that. I'm going to close out of here and I'm going to shut down my 90 second website builder uh, software and go to the website. Okay, so I've come to the area where I can download this and again the download link may, might be right underneath the video you're watching now. You won't necessarily have to come to the page that I'm at, but I'm going to literally do this in the video so you can see how it's done. I'm going to download the latest version since my 8.5.1 isn't updated. And uh, you do that simply by clicking the link, the download link. Remember you're going to save this as a zip folder. I'm downloading version 8.6 in my case. In your case it may be higher. Again, you want at least version 8.6 so in your case you might be downloading a higher version depends on uh, when you're watching this video and we would save the zip folder not open it but save the zip folder on our computer mine will go into my downloads folder so I'm gonna click OK okay so I downloaded the zip folder uh, went into my downloads folder but I moved it out here onto the desktop so it's easier to to work with so here's what happens um, when you've got a zip folder on your desktop or somewhere on your computer it needs to be extracted or unzipped. Um, in most cases, if you're using uh, Windows 7 or higher, you can just right click on that folder and unzip it or extract it. It's another word for it. Or you might have an unzipping program you use. Either way, it's important that you decompress or extract this folder. So I'm going to do that simply by right clicking on it and choosing Extract All. Extract. Okay, so I have extracted the folder, and inside that folder, you can see is the setup exe. Uh, icon. This is all I need to do. I'm just going to double click this and I'm going to go through the setup instructions just like when you originally installed uh, version 8.5 or whatever it is that you were using. You're going to do the same thing. It's important for you to know that just because you're reinstalling the software does not mean that you are losing any of your work. You're not going to overwrite any of your website project files. You're just simply replacing the software part of it, the software engine of the program. And it's very, very simple. You simply double click on it and follow the prompts. Now, this is a really important screen. You'll notice that the first thing that came up is it told me it's ready to install 90 Second Website Builder 8.6. Now, that's a really good sign. Again, what by the time you watch this video, it might be a higher number, and that's fine too. We want at least 8.6 running. And so if this does not say 8.6, then somehow, by some strange, in some strange way, you've uh, double-clicked the wrong icon or you've downloaded the wrong software. But if you've downloaded it from the link near this video, you should be okay. This is what you want to be installing, 8.6 or higher. So you click Next. You agree to the terms. Keep click, 
keep clicking next it's going to install it for me so we let that run until the installation is complete it only takes a couple seconds remember I'm not losing any of my work I'm just replacing the software all of my website project files are still in the uh, my documents folder where they should be this is actually replacing the software that runs in the program files directory so it's very safe to do okay so as you can see that was painless and I'm done oh by the way you'll notice I don't have to reactivate the software once you've activated your software we're just simply reinstalling uh, another version 8 so you don't have to type in your activation code again because your computer knows you're already an owner of the software you already are a license holder so that's fine and there's a quick um, desktop icon added to my desktop so it's a shortcut so now when I open up 90 second website builder version 8 let me move the camera over here so you can see a little bit better I'm gonna go up to the help menu again let's look at about web builder there's a good sign so now I have version 8.6.0 okay so that's what you need to do to fix this publishing issue now we have one more step so for those of you who already have 8.6 installed um, you didn't need to know all that stuff we just did that for the people who needed to upgrade but if now that you have version 8.6 and you're ready to fix this publishing issue it's a really really easy fix here's the best part of the video how to fix the Microsoft win inet publishing problem here's how you do it is simply go up to your tools menu under tools there is an area called options then we're gonna to go to an area called publish and preview there is now a new feature as of 8.6 and higher right over here called FTP engine let me explain to you what you're doing here I know that's a little bit geeky but it might be interesting and helpful for some of you to know what's happening here because Windows normally uses a program called WinINet to publish uh, through FTP and since Microsoft broke WinINet and we don't know when they're gonna fix it again we built this into 90 second website builder so you could bypass that broken program and pull down in this menu and choose another program called Winsock. Winsock is just another program that Windows will use to go to your server. That's literally all you have to do. Well, you have to save your changes, so you would click OK. But as long as you're using version 8.6 of 90 Second Website Builder and you come into the options area and publish and preview and simply change your FTP engine to Winsock you've just fixed the whole program you actually find that it's gonna publish even faster than the old uh, when I net did anyway so this is actually kind of a blessing in disguise by the way while we're here for those of you that are having connection issues anyway even even using Winsock if for some reason you have a slow internet connection and you find that it's often difficult for you to connect to your web host server because maybe you have I don't know uh, a slower uh, internet service or maybe you live in a place where you're going through satellite one of the things you can do is you can change the connection timeout uh, right here by raising this number uh, it'll allow the software to be a little bit more patient with your server you can set this to a higher number so that the connection won't time out quite as quickly the default is 30 seconds and that should really be okay for 90 percent of you most of you have broadband or DSL and so a 30 second timeout is okay but if you're really having trouble and you find that your server is timing out a lot um, then you can always raise this and that may help your publishing issues too if not just leave it to 30 seconds if you're not sure what to do it's best just to leave this to the, to the default 30 seconds that's just a side point that won't apply to most of you but I just thought while we're here you should know what that means okay so basically all we've done and this is a real simple fix as you can see is as long as we're using uh, version 8.6 you can come into this area click on the uh, menu here pull down to Winsock save these changes and voila you're actually done so any errors you are getting publishing especially errors that begin with the numbers one two zero zero um, this just fixed them okay so hopefully that didn't confuse you because I know we had to go to a lot of different places in this video but if if it did confuse you and you'd rather read about it um, I want to make sure you have uh, multiple ways of getting this information so go to 90 second website builder com forward slash blog look up the article about this and um, you can see how this works I'll put this video in a couple of different places so people can find it and like I said near this video I will put the download link to the latest version so it's easy for you to do